This holy mass is offered for the soul of Leela Krishnapa. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the priceless fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the sixth day of the Navina, and today we'll focus on St. Anthony as a friend of the poor. If you see a beautiful picture which I seen in Padua of St. Anthony feeding the poor, the poor widow in that picture, it was, it's a very beautiful picture that, that I had seen. And from there, we come to know the concern St. Anthony had for the poor. So as we have come to this Eucharist and with a humble and poor heart, let us ask pardon from the Lord. I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned sin in my, my thoughts, in my, in, words, in my words, in what, in what I, have I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my, through my, faults, through my, my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask you, Blessed, blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the all angels and saints, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray, to pray for, me, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. God, from whom all good things come, run that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. King Ahab called all Israel together and assembled the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. Elisha stepped out in front of all the people. How long, he said, do you mean to hobble first on one leg, then on the other? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. But the people never said a word. Elijah then said to them, I, I alone am left as a prophet of the Lord, while the prophets of Baal are 450. Let two bulls be given us. Let them choose one for themselves. Dismember it and lay it on the wood, but not set fire to it. I, in my turn, will prepare the other bull. 
but not set fire to it. I, in my turn, will prepare the other bull, but not set fire to it. You must call on the name of your God, and I shall call on the name of mine. The God who answers with fire is God indeed. The people all answered, agreed. Elisha then said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one bull and begin, for there are more of you. Call on the name of your God, but light no fire. They took the bull and prepared it. And from morning to midday, they called on the name of Baal. O Baal, answer us, they cried. But there was no voice, no answer, as they performed their hobbling dance round the altar they had made. Midday came, and Elisha mocked them. Call louder, he said, for he is a god. He is preoccupied, or he is busy, or he has gone on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and will wake up. So they shouted louder and gushed themselves as their custom was, with swords and spears, until the blood flowed down them. Midday passed, and they rented on until the time the offering is presented. But there was no voice, no answer, no attention given to them. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come closer to me. And all the people came closer to him. He repaired the altar of the Lord, which he had been broken down. Elisha took 12 stones, corresponding to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come. Israel shall be your name, and built an altar in the name of the Lord. Round the altar he dug a trench of a size to hold two measures of seed. He then arranged the wood, dismembered the bull, and laid it on the wood. Then he said, Fill four jars with water and pour it on the holocaust and on the wood. This they did. He said, Do it a second time. They did it a second time. He said, Do it a third time. They did it a third time. The water flowed round the altar, and the trench itself was full of water. At the time when the offering is presented, Elisha the prophet stepped forward. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, he said, let them know today that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, that I have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so that this people may know that you, Lord, are God and are winning back their hearts. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the holocaust and wood and licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell on their faces. The Lord is God, they cried. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Your response? Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer the offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. Your response? Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. O oh Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. 
Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. The response? Save me, Lord. I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Your response? Save me, Lord. I take refuge in you. Can you rise for the gospel? grasp the way of your precepts and I will muse on your wonders. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappears, and not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law, until its purpose is achieved. Therefore the man who infringes, even with one of the le least of these commandments, and teaches others to do the same, will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel cleanse our heart and our sins. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I had an opportunity twice to go to the shrine of St. Anthony at Padua and over there I had met a priest, I, don't, I happened to meet an Indian priest and uh, he was explaining to me of the various, uh, the, the various photographs of which were there, he was explaining to me and one of the photographs that he took me of St. Anthony feeding a, 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 a mother, a widow. St. Anthony was very much considered or very much for the poor, very much considered for the poor. He had a big heart for the poor, especially the widows. Why he had for the widows? Because during those days, since there was a lack of money, the widows never had money, so they used to take money from the money lenders and these money lenders is to cheat these widows and this, vid this money lenders does is to take advantage. So thus St. Anthony knew about these things and that's how St. Anthony would go to the poor people over there in Padua and give them bread and that's how we have um, the bread that is kept on every Tuesday that is supposed to be fed for the poor, those in need, especially the one, those who are widows, especially those in need, those are very poor who cannot afford, that bread is kept for them. And here is a small synopsis, uh, story of a, of, a, of a widow who used to come every day to the church, in, uh, to the church, on the day of St. Anth uh, Anthony's Navina day. Every day, every time, every Tuesday, she would come from a far distance walking. As she was come walking, she used to take two, two loaves of bread and go to, uh, uh, to her home. And it happened for months together. 
So the parish priest was watching, I mean was wondering who was this lady and where she is come, coming from. So he asked the parishioners around, do you know this lady? I would like to visit the house. And when the parishioners around said, I, Father, we do not know this lady, but I think she's coming from a far off parish. So, Father uh, happened to ask her, where do you stay? And she said, I stay in so and so place, and I come for the Navina to, to St. Anthony. Well, so Father told uh, one of them to follow her to see exactly where she is coming from. Because she may be really in need and what is her condition. So surprisingly, when she, Father went, uh, when she, uh, after weeks of a month, uh, in a month when the, when the person followed her, he gave a report to the parish priest. And he told the parish priest that this lady is quite a well-to-do person. But Father was wondering why she comes to take the two loaves of bread. Then he says, then the, it, the, the man who investigated continued and said, Father, this lady goes and distributes, uh, breaks the bread into, uh, breaks bread into two pieces and gives it to four of them in the family. They are poor, they are old people, their children have abandoned them. So, one bread is distributed between, uh, with one family, they are very old, they cannot eat, they are not able to digest. So what she does, she goes, she uh, makes them tea, gets a flask of tea, is there for my house, puts it, in, puts it in the cup and then she has the, uh, dips the bread in the tea uh, and gives this to this old man and old woman. And that's how the next bread she does the same thing. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Anthony loves the poor. And this lady, although she had everything, but yet came to St. Anthony to take that bread, to fill that bread, to give that bread to those two couples who are very old, to give them, because she loves the poor also. And she said, if St. Anthony could give this bread, and sustain them, sustain the many widows in Padua. Why not I give St. Anthony's bread and sustain them so that they may live, uh, sustain them for a week so that they may live, uh, they, may, they might live uh, for longer so that I can do a service to them. But this way, there are many, many things happening in, especially in the shrine of Padua. A lot of donations are received from world, all over the world, is thus distributed to many of these places of, uh, of, uh, of people who are in need at different shrines in different, different locations of Saint, uh, where St. Anthony is expanded, where, the, where St. Anthony's shrines are there. Dear brothers and sisters, St. Anthony had love for the poor. Poor, not only materially, poor also in spirit. He also preached the gospel and he said, do what Jesus did. Jesus gave thanks and fed 5,000 people. We too, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many of us who are poor in spirit and there are many of them who require our prayers. At this time, at COVID-19, as second place, there are many people who have died and require our prayers. The best way that we can pray for the many people who are hungry, who are travelers, who are, who are migrants who are walking distance, all they require, uh, require now, besides bread, the physical bread, they require prayers, which, is, which will be for them, they require prayers so that they can sustain for the few next months, few months to come. Let us ask this, this wonderful saint, Saint Anthony, especially to pray 
especially for those in need, to intercede for those in need. That we ask, we pray to him, ask him that we intercede especially for the poor who will be struggling during these months. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who in the offerings presented here Provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltations. May our voices we pray join with the ours in humble praise as we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope, Oswell, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by his divine teaching, let us with one voice and dare to say, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, will thy will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of this Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, only but say only word, say the word and, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring me to life everlasting. My spiritual communion, O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mistress, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Navina prayer to St. Anthony. Let us say all together. Dear St. Anthony, you followed Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. You answered his call, changed your name, left your native land to lead a life of danger in a distant land. Through the stormy sea and shipwreck, the Lord led you to a new show to do his work. Show us how to follow the Lord closely in his footsteps wherever he leads us. Help us to respond to his call with faith and courage. Dear St. Anthony, you chose to lead a life of simplicity and humble service. Help us all to be like Jesus, who bent low to wash the feet of his disciples the day before he died for us. You serve the poorest of the poor, strengthen the weak, heal the sick, and broke the chains of evil forces. Teach us to be like Jesus, who came to give the good news to the poor and to set the drowned trodden free. Dear St. Anthony, man of miracles and fearless preacher of God's word, you have been called the Ark of the Covenant, killer of lies, and a burning and shining light. Show us how to love God's word. Inspire us to be courageous in standing for truth and justice. Help us to be fearless in the face of evil forces and set us on fire with faith. Dear St. Anthony, sometimes sickness, worry and tension drive us to despair. We don't know where to go and what to do. We feel lost and lonely. We feel hurt and broken. We look to you in such sad moments of our life. We ask you to pray for us for our special intentions. Be by our side, 
when we are about to lose our faith and hope. Help us to find what we lost, especially lost confidence and lost trust. Bring us out of our depression by your guiding light and your healing touch. Teach us to lend a helping hand to everyone in need and in deep trouble. Help us to love one another as you love Jesus and as Jesus loves us. Amen. Sant Antoni Kade Magne Sangatamania Ye bo niskal Sant Antoni Anja Sarkia Tujanis Kalpanavarvi Anja Kade Ankari Chirani Murie Kade Ani Niskalpana Charaya Kade Chesu Kade Salavalin Wulung Tu Favosaloe Dayadavur Mujeriek Mogachi Dishtgal Sabasanank to the lob apodlelia verwins Niskalpana che dene meltalem Ye santa to chapad vidar magna verve Son di macanis kalpon Atmiache anikudiche Chintnin Sabdan worker nin Ya anchancha shegunak ad Have a patak adar nastana तुझा सरा फेकनेस कल्पना सो पटलाव कचे कतीर मुझे विश्वे मुझे मोत अनि मुझे कालीस नितल कर तुवे इतलो सर्ड मोग केल्या चे सुच्या दोल्यांक अनि देव मोगाचा मायेचा मोर्याचा दोल्यांक हावे मान मोंचे कतीर निस कल्पना सो सुबीत शिगुन मोरा सर हवे आधारुंक मका कृपा सोन दी तुझा मागण्या वरवी सरकार असंत मकारी गई आणि आत्म्याते नितळ असून मेल्यांक मात्र हे बाग फवसता देखून बरे आणि भगवंत मोरन मोरंक मका कृपा सोन दी आमेन ये निस्कल्पना चा दोव्या फुला दुर बोल का ये चे वूंस देखी खालते पना चा नीज असरिया बागेवन पना चा परसलेक ने केत्रा ये आनन बरीत सांत आंतुनी देव पुताक तुचा हातांद केन सो स्वादीक उपकार तुका फवसलो तुचे कडे परतोन मकता तुझा पदवेदार आधारा काल मका कांगे देवन तुका दिल्या सबा देन्या पैकी अश्चर्यांचे देने विशेष जाऊन असा मुचेर बिरमोतवर आणि या मुच्या वड घर चेंत मका पाव सकड अकरा मोग मुझा काल संतलो पोईस कर मुझा पत कांची खरी दूख आनी देवा सो आनी मुझा पेल्या सो मोग मका सोन दी आनी अशे ये जीनियेंत विश्वासान सुम्याची साकरी हमें करन तुझे संगता ससना चा ससनाक तुका हो गोल सोंग तुका बोगुंक आणि आनंद देऊंक सरकार असंत मका पावय आमेन द लॉर्ड इज माय रॉक माय फोर्ट्रेस अँड माय डिलीवर माय गॉड इज माय सेविंग स्ट्रेंथ लेट अस प्रे मे योर हीलिंग वर्क ओ लॉर्ड Free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, ma the mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.